Oof. If it's one thing, it's another. All right, so first off, can I just please ask, uh, can you guys hear me? Because that I'm not sure about. Okay, good, good. That's that's one one issue out of the way at least. Now, why am I getting a black screen? I don't like that. Yeah, game's not up yet. 
hopefully, there we go. Ah, here it is. All right. Okay, perfect. All right, so now I'm just going to go in and get the link for the live stream and share that so people can join us. All right, so just share the link for the, um, what you calls it, for the stream on Twitter. So hopefully we'll get some, some more people coming in soon. <sighs> okay, that should be good. I'll turn down just a little. A little bit more. Oh, didn't it? Uh, let's see there. It would not surprise me if it's not the right link. You're right, it did not it did not seem to go in there the right way. That's all right. Oh, well, I got a I got a different link and this one should work much better cuz it's easier. I just got to find it cuz it disappeared. Oh, okay, so it scurs here at least. <laughs> so that's two people. Now, let's see if I can. Come on. There, that should get people here.
Five people are watching, three people are interacting. Give it a few more minutes for people to slide on in. Get a little more comfortable here. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, yikes. That's what that is. You're a little too close. My microphone's a little bit too close to my computer. It's picking up that awful noise that it makes. Still sitting at five. <sighs> There's a cat on the counter knocking things down. All right, and then she just jumped down. That's what that was. That was her knocking over a water bottle. So how's everybody doing? Did you have a good week? Are you looking forward to the weekend? When do cats ever not knock things over? Um, the only time they're not knocking things over is when they're throwing up. In my experience, that's the only time they take a break from that. It's been all right and pretty unremarkable, basically. Mm. Yeah, we'll still got a few minutes to go as we wait for more people to come in. Well, I was, was hoping for more people than this. Not that I don't appreciate all of you that are here, but I just got the impression there were uh, more people would show up. But, yeah, that's expectations for you. Mm. 
Oh, one person left. Twenty <laughs> uh, percent of the whole audience just disappeared. Freddy's big knife is strange. I can see why. Mm. All right, we'll wait till 9.30. If, um, we'll start at 9.30, and whoever's here is here, whoever's not here is not here, and, you know, then the breaks. Well, we gained one more person. Hopefully they will uh, make themselves known in the chat. And gone again. <laughs> Ah, so uh, Dead Palette has joined us, just as somebody else left. <laughs> uh, we're going to be on a rotating schedule here. So we're waiting. We're going to start the stream officially at 9.30, start the game at 9.30. Well, anyway, I'll, I'll start talking about the game at 9.30 anyway.
By the way, uh, Dead Palette, I did see that uh, most recent episode of uh, the Fear Effect podcast. Man, was that dinosaur one dumb. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's just... Uh, I I did I did not ca I did not particularly care for that one. I like the soda one. I like soda. I like dinosaurs too, but I didn't care for the dinosaur one. Sad. <laughs> hate dinosaurs too you're gonna you're gonna hate the next uh like couple hours then new dinosaur soda i actually had uh, an assignment when i was going to school for computer art i had to design like a, a soda can and i did did dinosaur themed soda cans i i actually I, and I have a video of that as well maybe i will i should bring that over here to um to YouTube, it's on a, it's on my old Vimeo account, but I should actually move that over here to YouTube. Uh, fossil fuel, that's what it was called. It was uh, like an energy drink. Let we're up to six. Gonna start in three minutes. That's a popular name for a made-up energy drink. I've seen it used for a few places. Yeah, but how many of those were actually dinosaur-themed? Hmm? I'm guessing a lot of them, actually. <laughs> uh. All right, one more minute, and then we'll get started. At least one, but that's from an S N S F W thing. I can't sh I can't share if you want any YouTube money. <laughs> nah, no YouTube money here. It's alright, I'd rather not think about NSFW dinosaur stuff. Brings me back to those stupid um like uh like stupid novels you can find on Amazon. Like you know, ravaged by the T-Rex or whatever the fuck they're called. Stupid. All right. All right, it's 9.30, so let's get started. Excuse me. Welcome, everybody, to the Saurian live stream that we have going on here tonight. Uh, it's been a full year since we last live streamed the game. Uh, before we talk a little bit about the um, some of the changes that have been made, uh, I do just want to briefly talk about a rather frustrating feature um, that popped up 
Uh, I haven't played the game in a long time because I've been waiting for you know things to change, for things to be added. Uh, but um, when I was going to do this live stream, I decided to fire it up to kind of sort of reacquaint myself with the game, sort of you know get my feet wet a little bit. Uh, only to discover there is a rather frustrating bug. Um, basically, when you hit yeah, the, the Chuck Tingle. Yeah, the Chuck Tingle. I mean, there are a lot of them, and they're all, and they're not even made just by one dude, even. Um, but there's a rather frustrating bug that when you hit or like age four and a half, your your food bar stops filling. It's rather frustrating because you cannot, um, you can't really play the game if you can't eat. It's very tough to play a survival game when you can't eat. So it's uh, it's pretty frustrating and it's kind of a game killer. Um, we probably like probably once we hit age four and a half, we'll have to call in a night, and then tomorrow we'd, I'll have to start a new game. So kind of frustrating. It's been like this for at least a month. I'm I am kind of disappointed they haven't addressed it yet because it's such a big thing. But eh, whatever. All right. So anorexic dinosaurs. Uh, they don't. They don't look it though. Not that there's any one particular look for somebody who has anorexia. All right. So first, let's go here into the encyclopedia to take a look at some of the uh, new animals that have been added uh, in the last year. Some of the new non-playable creatures. Whoa. Wow, the entire encyclopedia is, is different. <laughs> um, let's do animals. Wow, I was, not, I was not prepared for this. All right, so we have, eh, otherwise, but no, otherwise it looks the same. Okay, so we have, and, and I'll, I'll go through all the animals just for anybody who wasn't here last time. But here we have the small uh, dromaeosaur Acroraptor, a Caroraptor, uh, who we will be competing with um, when we are a juvenile, and we, who we will be running from when we're a hatchling, and who we will be eating when we are an adolescent and an adult. This is the dinosaur that we're going to be playing as, Dakota Raptor Steini, um, a dromaeosaur, a raptor dinosaur about the size of a grizzly bear. Um, the Ornithomimid, here's our first new creature. Uh, the Ornithomimid. Um, it doesn't have a specific name because this has so far been unidentified. It has been assigned um, uh, sort of alternatively to um, Struthiomimus and Ornithomimus, but it doesn't seem to really fall into either one of those. So it's its own thing, but it hasn't been named yet, so they're just calling it an Ornithomimid. Pachycephalosaurus. Pescalosaurus, new dinosaur. A hairy, well not hairy, but like fuzzy uh, ornithician. Triceratops. Triceratops, by the way, is now sexually dimorphic. So this is the male Triceratops, but they do uh, have different color schemes. Yes, these feathers are absolutely gorgeous. Speaking of feathers, though, Tyrannosaurus. So... I talked a little bit about this last time we played, but new data has come to light showing that Tyrannosaurus probably not this uh, feathery, if indeed it had any feathers at all. Uh, and indeed, it's now looking like Tyrannosaurus was either predominantly or entirely scaly, would not have had any feathers. So I know, kind of shocking, kind of like a reverse, reverse development, but... Uh, the Saurian team has basically decided that the simplest explanation in keeping with all the available data is that T-Rex was fully scaly. So they actually, it took them a whole year, but they completely redid the T-Rex model from the ground up. Um, it hasn't been added to the game. This is the old model. Uh, the new one, I don't know when it will be added, but it's going to be entirely uh, featherless. There will be no feathers, at least for the adult. I don't know if, if the young ones will have feathers. But um, we'll see. So next up, Tapama's Ornithurin. Borealisuchus, the crocodile. 
Brachycampsa, the alligatoroid. Camops, little lizard. Paleosanoa, the venomous uh, lizard. Basilemmes, all another new animal. A turtle, pretty big turtle. Uh, these guys can be killed, but it takes a long ass time, uh, just like real life. Good science is admitting when you were wrong. Yes, it is. In fact, on their website, they had a frequently asked questions part that said, if you discovered that uh, evidence that said T-Rex was scaly, would you uh, change your model? And they said yes. And then they put their money where their mouth is. So good for them. So yeah, these are pretty big turtles. Again, this is compared to a human. So this is a pretty big turtle. And you're going to see this uh, in the game. It looks kind of neat. Anatosaurus. Now, a couple of interesting things here. First of all, this is the biggest animal in the Hell Creek formation, the biggest animal in the game. Um, and also, uh, the, the developers have gone with a somewhat interesting taxonomic stance here. Uh, the rest of the paleontological community calls this animal Edmontosaurus anectans, but they've decided to go with uh, their own taxonomy. They've classified it as a different, gen a different genus called Anatosaurus. So this is not a uh, view held by most other paleontologists, but they did do a post where they, they you know, backed up why they decided to go with the second, um, second description. Scaly T-Rexes are meta? Are they? Are they meta? Ankylosaurus, another new dinosaur. Sino dowers. Um, I don't know what a dower is, but Sino would imply that whatever it is, it's from China. A lot of dinosaurs actually have um, Sino at the beginning. Sino raptor, Sine raptor, Sinoceratops, Sinosaurus, uh, Sinornithosaurus. Um, where were we? Denversaurus. Denversaurus. The balance patch really nerfed feathers into the ground. <laughs> so Denversaurus is a relative of Ankylosaurus. It does not have the, um, the, the, the club on the tail. It's a little bit smaller. And instead it has these um, ventral spikes, these sharp spikes sticking out of its sides. I've only ever seen this animal once in the game, and it was by the coast. I don't know if that's like a... Habitat preference, or if I just happen to stumble across it there. Didelphodon, a primitive marsupial, or metatherian. It, 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 yeah. So this is actually going to probably going to be the easiest food for us in the game. Uh, they're slow, they're easy to see, they're pretty big uh, compared to like a, a small juvenile or a hatchling. Lepis, lepis, lepistos, lep, lepistosteus. Uh, this is basically a gar. It's a gar. It's a fish. Um, and we can eat these. We can actually go swimming and attack these and eat them. So if we're in the mood for some, uh, well, not seafood because they're freshwater, but if we're in the mood for some fish sticks, cue uh, Con Kanye West joke, uh, this is what we're going to be eating. And lastly, Quetzalcoatlus. SP. Now, some of you might have heard of Quetzalcoatlus before, specifically with regards to it being the largest flying animal of all time. And Quetzalcoatlus was one of the largest flying animals of all time. But this doesn't look particularly big, does it? That's because y'all are thinking of the other species of Quetzalcoatlus, Quetzalcoatlus northropi. Uh, this is a different species, which has not yet been named. It's been like that for the last 40 years about that, still hasn't been named. Um, so it's just called Quetzalcoatlus uh, spa, as uh, some people <laughs> refer to it. Shout out to the Tet Zoo podcast. Uh, so I've only ever seen these flying around, but their primary method of hunting is to actually land on the ground and pick stuff up with their long bills. And we would make a very nice, uh, tasty snack for them as a juvenile or a hatchling. So um, I'd be interested to see if any of those try to hunt us. 
Fish sticks and mac and cheese is nutrients for dinosaur. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to add mac and cheese to the game. Name pending. Yeah, name pending, but like for 40 years. Jesus Christ. <sighs> All right, so that's our cast of characters for this evening. They also added um, things for the, for the actual biomes, the different environments. So you have a cypress swamp, the redwood forest, the fern prairies, the beach, and the bluffs. And then they even have some for all the different plants, but we won't go through all those because nobody cares about plants. Plants suck. All right. So we'll start a new game. All right, do we want to come up with a name for our Dakota Raptor? Do we want to... Um, suggestions for a name? Since when did Congress take over naming dinosaurs? <laughs> uh, knuckleheads in Congress. <laughs> I didn't know we had Jay Leno in the chat. <laughs> So I want to throw out suggestions for a name for our lovely Dakota Raptor. Name it Jay Leno. Yeah. I don't know, that looks like a pretty small chin. Sexbot three thousand, Lil Football. <laughs> Lil Football looks like it could almost be an autocorrect fail. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually big football feathers. I think I'm going to combine two of those, actually. How about Little Sex Ball. Oh, I was going to put Little Sex Ball 3000, but I'll just do that. All right. American Big Football. That sounds like a caveman trying to communicate what American football is to somebody. Like American big football. Ah, uh, another beautiful morning in Hell Creek. My parents are se separate. They got divorced immediately. So I'm gonna hang around mom and or dad for a while see how long it takes for uh one of them to get killed because that's a problem they still have not fixed here oh that sound sounds kind of loud actually of course that might just be the water because that's one thing i've noticed is that the water tends to be um, louder than the other sound effects in the game. It's kind of frustrating. So mom is fighting a... What is she fighting? What is that? A Brachycampsa. That's a fight she is not going to win. <sighs> oh well. While I'm in the water, I might as well drink a little bit. <sighs> See anything else around here to eat? Anything that's not going to kill me? Ooh, some ornithomimids over there. So these are going to be a pretty um, popular prey item when we get big. But for now, uh, they could easily step on me and kill me. Ooh, oh, there's a didelphodon.
Come back here. Uh oh. I heard the music change, and that usually indicates that I'm being hunted, but I can't see what's hunting me, if anything. Oh well. I'm just going to gorge down. Now, if I was being hunted, I do actually have a new uh, technique that I can use for protecting myself. And I'll show you. Okay, so I'm done eating. So I'll show you what that is now. So if something were chasing me, all I would have to do is jump over to a tree, and jump on top of it, and climb it. Very nostalgic for me, drinking water and watching my parents get murdered. Trying to trying your parents trying to get themselves murdered. I can climb faster if I want. So and now you can see here. It's glitching a little bit, but I can also, uh, if I want, uh, so basically it's like I'm sitting on a branch. The problem is the branch is not there. But I can here. All right. And then if the coast is clear, I can do this and jump off. So it looks like I'm in the cypress swamp, or maybe I'm just by a river, I don't know. Either way, I'm close to water, and that's where I want to be. Give me another drink. Another new feature they've added is dynamic growth. So it used to be that you would, after a while, you would go to sleep and you'd wake up as the next growth stage. There, that is still part of it in terms of the stats, because your stats change, but um, now growth is more dynamic. Now you'll actually change as you get older. Oh, there's a adolescent Dakota Raptor over there. So now I'll just I just change as I get older, and that's going to be very apparent when I change from adolescent to adult. And I, the feathers on my head change from uh, brown to white. So that'll be kind of neat. Ah, another beautiful day in Hell Creek. And I cannot stress this enough. Everything that you see in this game every plant every you know grain of sand on this beach all the trees all the ferns all the horse tails all the insects you know every animal the weather the climate you know everything in this game is based directly on fossil evidence there is nothing here that is just completely made up from whole cloth everything is based on some type of evidence this is one of the most rigorous, rigorously researched reconstructions, try saying that three times fast, um, of a paleo ecosystem. Like this video game is going to have a works cited page when it's done. And that works cited page is, oh, 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 come back, come back, I want to eat you. That works cited page is going to have well over like 180 different citations. What's that? Is that? Oh, that's the fish. That's the fish. Should I go for it? I don't see any crocodiles. Did the earth have a higher oxygen content back then? Um, slightly, but not significantly. Um, atmospheric um, compounds in the Mesozoic era were largely what they are today. They weren't really any different. I'm trying to eat you. Come back. Yeah, see, I'm eating it. It's just <laughs> come back. It's dead and it's swimming away from me. How does that work? <laughs> uh. Yeah, so that the when oxygen high levels were at their highest during the Carboniferous period, so about um, about like 60 million years before the first dinosaurs, 
Another um, thing that t gets repeated a lot is that um, uh, dinosaurs were able to grow so large because there was more oxygen in the atmosphere. There's really no reason to think that. Uh, tetrapods are active breathers. We force oxygen into our bodies. So it doesn't really matter how much oxygen there is around us. We'll just get it into our bodies if we need to. Um, that's different from arthropods, things like spiders and insects and uh, crustaceans. They... Uh, are passive breathers. They rely on the oxygen to dissolve directly into their exoskeletons. So there is a correlation between oxygen content and the size of arthropods, which is why in the Carboniferous period is when we see giant millipedes and dragonflies and um, scorpions and all kinds of crazy giant arthropods. But for dinosaurs, like Anytime somebody tries to say that, like, dinosaurs got big because there was more oxygen, or dinosaurs got big because there was less gravity, or dinosaurs got big because it was warmer. No, dinosaurs didn't get big because of any, like, environmental external conditions. Dinosaurs got big because they were just really good at getting big, and I think that acroraptor wants to eat me, so I'm going to run up this tree. And I didn't, <laughs> it didn't let me go up the tree. Let me try a different tree. And I just ran right through the tree. This is not helping. I think I just, I think I just ran away from it anyway. All right, now, yeah, now you go up the tree when I don't need you to. Dinosaurs get big because they could. Exactly. That is, this is what I'm saying. They could get big because they could. They were just fundamentally better at doing it than other animals were. Or, if you like, because they were more awesome. Why climb when you can phase through trees? Why worry about being eaten? It just, it'll just phase right through you. All right, I'm going to sit in this tree. I'm going to look cute for a little bit. I'm going to jump down. All right. I have, I have trouble climbing trees at all. I'm not good at climbing trees. Oh, oh, there's some triceratops. And you can see the difference between the two sexes now. The brightly colored males and the slightly uh, less brightly colored females, the duller colored females. But I also saw something... Ah, there's a didelphodon. And I'm going to go kill and eat it. Oh, you mammals are so easy to kill. At least I think you are. Okay, yeah, no, I did kill it. I'm like, where'd you go? Why? why eat it! No one can climb a tree with a full belly. I thought that Acroraptor is still over there. I better be careful. But it looks like it's getting darker. Last time I played, I skip, skipped the nights because it was hard to see. But they've actually changed the night vision so that it's actually possible to see at night. I can get up a tree. The problem is getting down. No. <laughs> see that. See, it's easier for, for uh, this guy to climb, to get down, because you can just glide down. Uh-oh. Orange scent markers are carnivores. So something was here recently that was carnivorous. So I better watch my, watch my back. Oh, and it went that way, or maybe that way, or I, I can't tell. Oh, is that another didelphodon back there? I think it might be. So either that or a Paleosanawa. Oh, what are you? Nope. Nope, it's a Didelphodon. Yum. Uh, 
There goes something. I think that's a cam ops. Yep, there's a cam ops. Let's see if I can get it. Uh oh. Oh shit! There's an aqua raptor right there hunting me. Is it still there? I don't see it. And the music it sounds like the music's changed. Or maybe not. Oh well, it looks like I did manage to kill that lizard at least. It's got that ominous music, but I cannot. I don't see any. Uh, I don't see any hunters. I don't see any predators. Famous last words. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see any predators. Got it. Oh, yum. I should head back to the river for a nice little drink of water. Borealisuchus over there. Better watch my tail. Uh oh. Music change. Hmm. Oh. Uh, I think that's another cam ops. Yep. Back here. Come back here, you. I'm ready for a lip smacking lizard lunch. A late time lip smacking lizard lunch. Back here, you little. Oh, got it. Yum. Another Didelphodon. Woo! Now I gotta hand it to you, mammals. You're really, really tasty and really, really easy to kill. Easy to catch and even easier to kill. Uh oh. Oh, I think it's a uh, crocodile over here that wants to hunt me. Yep. Now this could just be me, but it does look like I've already gotten bigger. But that might just be me. Probably is just me.
Yep, ran out of stamina. Cool down for a bit. A drink of water. Over here. Oh, I guess that's Lasaurus. Just one though. What's it doing? Is it, oh, it's uh, fighting a Brachycampsa. And why is it doing that? <laughs> why is it doing that? Oh well, maybe if we maybe if I'm lucky, one of them will kill the other. Let's see. I don't see this being resolved anytime soon. <laughs> uh. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, it's an Anatosaurus herd. I gotta be really careful. There's just one misplaced foot, and that's gonna kill me. You guys are huge! Biggest animal in the game. Well, biggest animal on land in the game, anyway. Not quite as big as the Mosasaurus. I will say, the, the stripes on the tail, that's actually based on uh, some data. Um, a per particularly well-preserved specimen from South Dakota of um, an Atosaurus that preserved um, evidence of uh, coloration on the tails. The Anatosaurus are also sexually dimorphic. It's a little hard to tell here because it's so dark. But um, the females are pretty much, they, they're all green. But the males, if I can find one, um, have a very brightly, there's, that, there's a male, very brightly sort of like red, uh, blue colored face. And they don't even notice me, I'm so small, <laughs> so inconsequential to them. Oh, Didelphodon. Oh, a lot of Didelphodon, whoa. And there's another one right over here. Hey! We made it to the next growth stage. Successfully joining the 10% uh, of dinosaurs that survived past their first year. You just curl the tail around there like that. All right. And here we are. Now we are a juvenile. And I still have the. Uh oh. There's a packy. Doesn't look particularly interested in me. Okay, good. Walked right past me. Good. Well, looks like there's another Didelphodon over there. Back here. Ah. Man. Oh man, these things are easy to kill. Why aren't, why aren't I eating you? Come on. There you go. Is that nice little booty shake? Whenever uh, you know, she eats. And there's another one! What is this, the Didelphodon mating season? Oh, yum. 
that the anatosaurs are still over there. It also looks like dawn is uh, coming, so that'll be good to be able to see all this luscious landscape and uh, full light of glory. Yeah, da, 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 da. Look at me, I'm skipping. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be a dinosaur and to be here with the other dinosaurs and all the other animals that aren't dinosaurs. Let me see if I can find one of those turtles. Oh, there was a bird. Flew away. Another Pachycephalosaurus. They're all traveling alone. Last time they were traveling in pairs. Oh, there's an ornithurin. Oh, darn it. I gotta be sneakier. Oh, there's something on the hell over here. Oh, oh yep, there's a didelphodon. That's another thing I'll say for you mammals, you breed like crazy. And lo and behold, there's another one. And there's another one. Man, this is a little too easy. This is uh, not as much of a challenge as it was last time. Well, at least the light's coming back. Be able to get a better look at the scenery soon. See, I can glide. I'm actually small enough where uh, my feathers give me air resistance. A lot of air resistance, so I can actually glide. Just start this then. The lizard came right to me. Oh, I should take a drink. I'm getting pretty thirsty. All this murder is thirsty business. Well, looks like we reached the Redwood Forest, which means we should be coming up on the coast soon. Oh, there's another one of those fish. You know what, fish? I'm going to let you live. So I'm full. I got food. I'm pretty happy with myself right now. So this is your lucky day, fish. You get to live. Ah, looks like it's another herd of Anatosaurus. You can clearly get a better look at the coloration now. Find a male. Is this a male? Yes. There's another male. I better be careful. Because again, if you even touch them, you die. Because they're just that big and that powerful. And you are, well, I am. Soft and frail and weak. Uh, so that way to the open fern prairie. Ah, a Denverosaurus. Let's look at you. And back up a little bit. Give him some room. Ooh. 
Hello. Hello, you. Big wide body. Must be going down for a drink. Well, you take care. Oh, and there's some more uh, ornithomimids. Big old flock of them. Small notice on Yep. Ten bucks for whoever can guess what uh, what state Denver Saurus is from. Come on, eat. Why aren't you eating it? There we go. Ooh. Colorado, yes it is. Oh, there was something over there. I think. Maybe not. I thought I thought the head was turned towards something, but We're getting close to the coast now, because the water is starting to turn more of like a lighter, more vivid blue. We gotta be careful now, because we can't drink salt water. <laughs> oh, that's frustrating. Yes, I hate it when phones decide, you know what you need right now? You need an update. You're like, no, I really don't. And phone's like, Shut up. I I know what's best for you, human. We'll head down to the coast, see what's going on. Can't drink salt water, not with that attitude. All right, well, let's give it a shot then. But before we do that, let's... all right, gulp. Oh, oh, I wonder if it won't drink salt water. Oh no, you will. Yep. Gulp. Die. Gulp. Die. Dehydration. Let me just stop drinking. Why have you stopped moving? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's not moving for a second. I don't know what that's about. And just keep drinking that. Yeah, it's going to take a while for us to actually fully die. Because <laughs> now the health bar is going to go down on its own, but that's going to take forever. <sighs> well, there's some Triceratops. Having a nice day at the beach. Let's see, two females, three females, four females, and a male. This is another thing they've added is um, they've made this is for raptor prey restraint. So basically, if I see something I want to jump on top of and start ripping into, this helps me to uh, aim better.
some more ornithal nodes over there. I'm really hoping to see his name, Kylosaurus. Because that's what a lot of people's favorite dinosaur seems to be. So here's our poor little uh, little dinosaur just skipping along here as she slowly dies of dehydration. Oh, looks like the sun's going down. It'll be night soon. They mostly come out at night. Mostly. I think I see an inlet up here, so we may actually be coming to some uh, some fresh water soon. I hope so, for her sake. By the way, I don't know what sex this dinosaur is because we chose random at the beginning. Yep. All right, here we go. Don't worry, sweetie. Just got to follow this until the water turns murky, sickly brown. <laughs> then we'll know it's safe to drink. When the water looks like it's teeming with cryptosporidium, then we'll know it's safe to drink. Oh, uh, uh, actually, uh-oh, that might be that might be a little tough. Might be uh, tricky to tell when the water's safe to drink with the uh, sun going down. Let's see. Safe yet? Nope. <laughs> Drink the blood of your victims for liquid sustenance. You know, actually, to be honest, I would. I think that should be a thing. I think you should gain um, hydration points when you kill and eat uh, other animals. Because like, that's how a lot of animals actually work. There are a lot of animals that don't drink water. They just get all the f uh, liquid they need from prey. Or not even just prey. Sometimes it's just uh, even from plants. All right, looks like the water's getting darker. No, it's still not fresh enough. There we go. Oh, there you go. Now you're getting hungry too. And lo and behold, there's some food. There's a lot of food. <clears throat> yeah, go right past it. There we go. All right, she was close to a horrible, horrible, slow, painful death. But now, she is in peak physical condition. Uh-oh, Pachycephalosaurus. You know, I haven't seen any T-Rexes. And I didn't see any T-Rexes the last time I played. I wonder if they, t they just took the old model out entirely. Getting ready to put the new one in. I also haven't seen any uh, pterosaurs yet, any Quetzalcoatlus. 
You know what? Let's uh, let's skip through the night because this place is always prettiest to look at during the day, and we can afford it because we've got plenty of hunger or plenty of food rather. Tyrus has learned to turn invisible. See, I don't think so because if that were true, I'd be dead. <laughs> I'd have died a long time ago. Oh, there's something. No, oh, Brachycampsa. Trying to it's trying to hunt me, but uh, advantage Raptor. T Rex may still exist today. They're just really good at hiding. Well, that see, they actually they live in um fucking what is it Norway, <laughs> and uh, now they have really long arms. And that is apparently the only physical change they've gone through in the last 66 million years. Despite the uh, course of T-Rex evolution being the complete opposite of that. <laughs> God, I think the worst part of that story was when, was when they said, You ever seen Jurassic Park? It's like, yep, yep. Yeah. Why, why bother describing the thing in your story when you can just compare it to something from something that's far better? It's like rule number one for writing. Never remind your audience that there's something far better they could be reading or watching at this very moment. Although to be honest, uh, I could I could say the exact same thing about this live stream. <laughs> uh, oh, I need to take another drink because I didn't drink when I woke up. So lizard people are Norwegians. Gotcha. Well, Norwegians are lizard people. This is this is a fact. Um, well, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because they because they live in such a cold place. Why, would, if they were lizard people, if they are lizard people, why do they live in such a cold place? Don't T Rex live on as our domesticated chicken? Not T Rexes. Chickens are dinosaurs, and chickens are descended from dinosaurs, but chickens ain't descended from T-Rex. Oh, here's a pair of packies. Uh-oh. They're sticking close by that didelphanon. I can't get in there and kill it. Have you ever read V, the Lizard People Prefer the Cold Temperatures? Um, I haven't read it. I think I saw a couple episodes of that uh, remake of the TV show. Um, but that's weird. Why would why would they like cold... Oh my god, they killed it! The Packies, they, they killed the, uh, the Didelphodon. Why did they do that? Because they didn't eat it. And even though they're herbivores, I could totally see them killing and eating a Didelphodon every now and again. That's perfectly in line with what animals do today. Maybe they were trying to help me. Packies don't help anybody. The Pachycephalosaurs are the assholes of the Hell Creek Formation. They just go around attacking things for no reason. Like, remember that Brachycampsa? It just charged into the water. Oh, an Acroraptor. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to kill it. This is for... This is for... This is for... This is for hunting me earlier. Come back here. Come back here. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. That thing was half my size and it killed me. I'm not going to lie, Sakura, when I do properly hunt things, it does look like it does look like I'm kind of dancing around them. Because <laughs> I always try to go for the back part, because that's the part that doesn't have any teeth. That's the softer part. So it looks like we're just sort of chasing around each other in a circle. Uh, oh, I should take a drink of water. Gotcha. Yummy. Oh, whoa! An adult Dakota Raptor! It came out of freaking nowhere. Can I still climb? Yes, I'm still small enough to climb. So the, the, the fist build sideways buck never equivalent to the dinosaur world? Uh, essentially. At least they are in this game. I don't know about the real animals. The real animals might have been very uh, sociable. But not the ones in this game. Oh shit! Still, still hunting me. Still there. I thought I was gone. Go away. Go away, it's an adolescent. It's a mature adolescent because you can see its head is starting to turn white. Not quite there yet, but it's getting close. Still there? I don't see it. All right. Oh no, you're still there. But you're moving away. Oh wait, or maybe you're not. No, you're not. You're just kind of circling toward me. Go away. Leave me alone. Yeah, no, the feathers in this game are beautiful. The way the feathers move. And it's kind of why, like, whenever people talk about, like, oh, feathers are so hard to animate. It's like, well, you know what? If these people can do it, then, you know, you should be able to do it. You know, shut up. Go away. Go away, leave me alone. Can't even see it now. No, he's still here. He is determined. Man, I, I'm going to try running. Try running away. We can lose him in this herd of ornithomimids. Maybe. All right, I think I lost him. Phew. But he was determined. He stuck around there for a while. It's already morning now. Oh, yeah, just try it, buddy. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. I need to find something to eat. It's been a while. Man, I am not seeing anything to eat. There's some natasaurs over there. <laughs> oh, it's a Basilemis. It's a turtle. And you know what? To be honest, I don't see anything else to eat. I'm going to try it. Come on. Man, I don't know if he'll go for it. Yeah, come on. You gotta get your and get your snout there. Yordis the tortoise. No, this is a turtle. Oh, did I kill it? I did. <gasps> I killed it. Yes. I'm having turtle soup minus the soup. Yum. Yum. Mm. There's a lot of meat on this guy. You mean nice and full. Oh, something's coming. Looks like ornithomimids. <sighs> yeah, still no sign of any T-Rexes. Kind of disappointed. No ankylosauruses either. What I might do is I might look up... Oh, yikes. You okay there, buddy? <laughs> I might look up to see if um, the different dinosaurs have different habitat preferences. And then I and then I use that to see if I can try to track down any specific dinosaurs. No pterosaurs either. I still haven't seen the Quetzalcoatlus. Man, this thing is a feast! So much meat, so much delicious turtle meat. Gamera is really neat. He is filled with turtle meat. <laughs> still going. St still, oh. Like, why go anywhere else so I can just sit here and gorge myself? It's starting to rain. Now, one thing they said they introduced into the game, but I haven't seen any evidence of, is flooding. That the waterways can actually flood, but 
I don't know. I haven't seen that yet. Nom, 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 nom. I cannot believe this is still going. He's still... Wow. <laughs> I didn't know turtles were so dense. So densely packed with meaty goodness. And it's gone, finally. We spent the whole day eating that. It's The sun's going down now. Wow. <laughs> it took even longer to eat that than it took to kill it. I should take a drink. I spent so much time eating, I got thirsty. <laughs> eating is thirsty work. <laughs> Let's see how I'm doing on age. We're about halfway through age two. I'm going along at a fairly, fairly decent pace. Oh, it's over there. I think it was Didelphodon. Here we go. Well, after that little bedtime snack, I think it's time to hit the hay. Oh wow, look at look at those gorgeous colors. Really saturated reds. Wow. Dum -de -dum, de -dum -de -dum. All right, time to go to sleep. Ooh. It's still pretty early in the morning, so it's still pretty dark. Oh, more didelphodon. My God, they're everywhere. Honestly, I think I might lay off the Didelphodon for a while just because I'm in need of a, a bigger challenge. Splinter to go with the Leonardo. I get that. 
I mean, just barely, but I get it. Where'd you go? Oh, you know what? I just said I was going to lay off them. I'm going to go chasing one. <sighs> I'm a very confused dinosaur. I have no way to blame but myself. you. Oh, is that a fish? Yep. Yep, gotcha. No, wait, no, I didn't getcha. Come back here. Fish! Gotcha. Man, when am I going to see an Ankylosaurus? Maybe I need to get away from the river. Do some more rigorous exploration. There's Pachycephalosaurus. Hmm. I'm not really seeing a whole lot out here. There's some triceratops. I'm not really sure what they're doing. Usually when they flick their heads like that, that's like a that's a warning sign. That means leave me alone. I don't know what they're gesturing to.
Oh, another packy. <sighs> There's another one. All these pachycephalosaurs, but on a singular ankylosaur. <sighs> well, it looks like we've reached the Fern Prairie. I think that's what this is. Oh, there's a T-Rex. You better be careful because I'm getting to the size where I'm worth uh, expending energy to chase down and eat. What's going on with the music? I'm just skipping. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Well, yep, that was the uh, Fern Prairie. Now here, looks like this is the Cypress Swamp. Wee. Let's see what our food options are. Oh, next growth stage. All right. You successfully made it to adolescence. We've only been killed once. Well, oh, some Arnatosaurs. I have to admit, the animation on these Anatosaurus look a little weird. They look a little stilted. It's hard to say if that's just the way it looks or... Shit, 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 shit. What's going on with the music? It keeps cutting in and out. I don't care for that. You know what? If you're going to be like that music, then you 
got to go. Yeah, oh, man, I can turn up the sound effects. I really need to eat something. I haven't seen anything to eat in a long time. Can't choose to be picky now. Just whatever I see, I'll just go for it. Well, I mean, within reason. I'm not going to be attacking any T Rexes. Some Earth amendments of actually, I wonder. I might be big enough to take one of these guys on. Or uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe I will be killed instantly. What the? What the hell happened? What? Okay, so um, the game just up and closed out on me. Um, <clears throat> although, uh, to be honest, I think uh, that might might as well be a um, a good place to end it. Um, it's been something somewhat of a slow um slow night for the stream, but that's okay um, thank you all for uh, stopping by. I hope you enjoyed um exploring Hell Creek once more with me um, and if you'd like to join us again tomorrow, uh hopefully things will be a little bit more lively you know i'm i'm ne I'm never sure it's it's like do I just not, like, I can never think of anything to say. It's like, 
and I'm walking and I'm walking and I'm walking and I'm walking and oh there's something to eat and I'm walking again and still walking you know that's so I, I do feel bad I, I do feel like I'm not as engaging as I should be um, so I'll try to think about that more tomorrow but um, but no uh, thanks thank you all for for coming I hope to see you guys tomorrow if not that's fine too I'm just glad you could be with us tonight uh, and I guess we'll uh, we'll call it a night so good night everybody hope to see you tomorrow and have uh, have a nice weekend <laughs>